name's AJ Williams. My background's Wiradjuri and Watcha Bullock. So my family come from uh, the Dimbola Horsham area of Victoria and the Dubbo area, area of, of New South Wales near Wellington. I'm a mental health social worker. I've got previous qualifications as a nurse and a youth worker and a career counsellor. Um, I got interested in mental health uh, as a child. I actually had bulimia and anxiety. So I've always had that interest in mental health. Um, and as a social worker, I realised that the most common illness that most of my clients actually had was mental health. And I picked up my passion to uh, help Aboriginal communities understand health literacy around mental health a lot better. Uh, for five years, I was actually the uh, Aboriginal Mental Health First Aid National Coordinator at Mental Health First Aid Australia, uh, helping to train over 200 Aboriginal instructors to deliver the Aboriginal Mental Health First Aid course across Australia. I'm a leader in thought change, so I try to get people to rethink things a little bit differently. Growing up, I was never a leader. I was the kid that was bullied, I was the kid that was picked on. I was the one that no one thought could do anything. And growing up, you believe that. And it's taken many years to actually realise that I do have a voice. And what I've got to say is about getting you to change your thoughts, getting you to understand how these things hurt people, whether they're intentionally or, or unintentional. Uh, a lot of Australians are quite ignorant about my culture. And I'm not using ignorance as a negative. I'm saying if you never t never learnt it, then you're ignorant of it. And I need to push boundaries. I need to actually get people to understand the history, which has been traumatic. I need people to understand the, um, the events that have actually occurred within that history, but also how people have been impacted by that. Part of my project that I was actually working on was to help raise health literacy and self-resilience for young Aboriginal people across Victoria, uh, where we've actually trained uh, a lot of uh, community members and uh, ad adults working with or living with Aboriginal adolescents uh, in youth mental health first aid. So when kids have got problems, they've got people to actually go to and those people know how to respond. And the second part was actually delivering both the teen mental health first aid program, which is a program that works with uh, teenagers helping their friends and other teenagers, and a self-resilient program to actually go, well, if I know how to help other people, how do I actually help myself? Uh, Aboriginal suicide is still so high right across Australia, which means that there's often not enough mental health literacy out there for family and friends. My ideal would be that in 20 years time that I wouldn't have to deliver cultural awareness anymore because uh, our society would be teaching uh, people in primary schools and high schools and uh, our local, you know, Aboriginal culture would be taught at all those particular levels. The workers that I actually work with at the moment uh, are actually acknowledging that maybe if they start changing or adapting different behaviours, then my kids won't be scared to access services and my grandkids won't be, able to, won't be scared to access those services, which means by another one or two generations, hopefully the gap will have actually closed quite significantly.